What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching and not starting properly issue you're currently having with Subnautica. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to open up your task manager by simply using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. What I want you to do next is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're gonna click onto processes. And afterwards, you just need to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in S in order to find Subnautica. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, I want you to simply end the task manager again. And the next step is gonna to be to take your Steam or your Subnautica shortcut right on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, Simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take the shortcut, right click and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Once this window pops up, click onto compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable, run this program in compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. Afterwards, I would recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. And uh, afterwards, I just want you to simply double click it and launch your game and launch your game over the launcher. This will probably fix your issue. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And yeah, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.